Now, beloved, let me know your mind. What do you intend to do? Will you go on and die, or will you turn and lay hold on eternal life? How long will you linger in Sodom? How long will you halt between two opinions? Have you not yet resolved whether Christ or Barabbas, whether bliss or torment, whether this vain and wretched world or the paradise of God be the better choice? Is it a disputable case where whether the Abana and Papar of Damascus be better than all the streams of Eden, or whether the vile pool of sin is to be preferred before the water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God of the Lamb? Can the world, in good earnest, do for you what Christ can? Will it stand by you to eternity? Will pleasures, lands, titles, treasures descend with you? If not, had you not heed, need look after something that will? What do you mean to stand wavering? Shall I leave you at last like Agrippa, only almost persuaded? You are forever lost if left here. As good be not at all, not as not altogether a Christian. How long will you rest in idle wishes and fruitless purposes? When will you come to fix, firm and full resolve? Do you not see how Satan cheats you by tempting you to delay? How long has he drawn you on in the way of perdition? Well, do not put me off with a dilatory answer. Tell me not later. I must have your immediate consent. If you are not now resolved, while the Lord is treating with you and inviting you, much less likely are you to be later, when these impressions are worn off and you are hardened through deceitfulness of sin. Will you give me your hand? Will you set open the door and give the Lord Jesus Christ a full and ready possession? Will you put your name into his covenant? What do you resolve upon? If you, will, if you still delay, my labor is lost and all is likely to come to nothing. Come, cast in your lot. Make your choice. Now is the acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. Today, if you will hear his voice, why should you not be the day of which you are able to date your happiness? Why should you venture a day longer in this dangerous, dreadful condition? What if God should this night require your soul, or that you might Know that this day the things that belong to your peace, before they be hid from your eyes. This is your day, and this is but a day. Others have had their day and have received their doom, and now are you brought upon the stage of this world, here to act your part for your eternity. Remember, you are now upon your good behavior for everlasting. If you do not make a wise choice now, you are undone forever. What your present choice is, such must be your eternal condition. And it is true indeed, are life and death at your choice? Why then, what hinders but that you should be happy? Nothing does, nor can hinder but your own willful neglect or refusal. It was the saying of the eunuch to Philip, See, here's water, what hinders me to be baptized? So I may say to you, see here is Christ, here is mercy, pardon, life. What hinders but that you should be pardoned and saved?